What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This one is on this cool, uh, like, it's like a vine kind of, just like abstracty tentacle looking rope thingy uh, effect. Um, not sure what I'm going to call it yet for the tutorial, but yeah, so this is basically the general idea. And it's kind of like, um, like these out oh, what it sounds like uh, it's just tentacle vine looking things coming out of the logo or behind the logo and the way I did this one here is I had the um, some like gray um, and in the inside I had the bright glowing green and I didn't render this out because it took about like 20 minutes to render and I didn't feel like sitting here so I kind of just let it be so um, let's get into how to do this. Um, first off, you're gonna need to download the plugin um, Umami. Um, I'll have that. <clears throat> I'll have that in the description. But basically, you just go to plugins and Umami, and then I'm just gonna turn this sideways, 90 degrees. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna adjust my angle and bring it back behind the logo and then I'm gonna click Humami again and I'm going to go to spline and I'm gonna go to the height scale and I'm gonna turn that down um, adjust it to however your text or logo is and I'm gonna increase the height randomness and um, I'm gonna leave everything else the same for now and then I'm going to duplicate this so now there's two and then I'm going to go up here to the splines I'm going to get a circle and I'm going to get a cog wheel then I'm gonna select both of these and I'm just going to scale them down and then I'm going to go to the first umami I'm going to go to mesh I'm going to click this arrow and I'm going to click the circle and then I'm going to go to the second umami, click the arrow, and click the cogwheel. So then it creates this um, like bumpy looking one and a sphere one. I'm going to put this glowing color on the circular one and then my gray material on the cogwheel one. So you get something like that. And I'm just going to adjust the size of the circle, something like that and now this is a little too far forward yet so I'm gonna bring it back a bit just like that and now uh, this is where you can um, start messing around with things so I can select both of these and I can go and I can increase the number of splines like that or I could decrease them or I can go to the random seed mess around with those and uh, once I find something that I like, um, just pick something. Come on, there, okay. The general one works for me. I'm just gonna select these uh, umamis. I'm gonna Control C, Control V, and I'm just gonna bring them over the opposite way. <clears throat> Then I'm going to go bring them back behind the logo, make sure they're nice and even, and voila, nice quick effect for the background of my logo, and um, if I don't like the cogwheel or something, I can just delete that, maybe just do some glow, that's really bright, or even I can mess with the settings and I could do something like uh, bring in this height scale increase this do something like that um, yeah so you can mess around you can do a lot and um, I'm sorry if I didn't talk very loud this tutorial my mic was having some issues when I like talked very energetically which is how I like to talk for these but yeah just some mic issues didn't sound right so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. And follow me on Twitter, at Quezzy. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.